Welcome to Economic Observations. My name is Chris. Today is the 28th of July, almost the 29th. It's quite late. Sorry about that. I guess you can say that this video is just the testing of my microphone and I am using a different computer software. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is sponsored by the Tanzania School Foundation, a nonprofit near and dear to my heart. Today we're going to talk about the price of lettuce and strawberries, peaches and almonds. These are the fruits and the crops that grow in California and they have been hit significantly hard with extreme droughts. Agriculture in California uses 70% of the water supply and when there's a drought and little rains they use even more. So what are we going to see for the price of these commodities? Are they going to go up? I mean, even the price of almond milk can go up. They, there are some farmers that had to pull out, you know, 50, 60 percent of their almond trees because they just weren't going to make it. Some farmers are putting their crops closer together to have a stronger root system so they don't use as much water. And many people in Northern California are collecting shower water to either use in their gardens or to help flush their toilets. Folks, California has a massive problem right now with droughts. And it's not only California. It is Nevada, Utah, and Oregon. And in Oregon, the drought is killing Christmas trees. That's right, Christmas tree farms. So if you're in the market for a real Christmas tree this year, well, I would go on Amazon and order one of those artificial ones because the price of Christmas trees, if you can even find one, a real one, is going to go up at the end of the year. Six and a half year of growth in some of these trees, and they are just devastated. Agriculture in, in California has been, you know, billions of dollar business, billions of dollars, but there is, is a problem. And the drought is creating wildfires. And this is going to cost the United States billions of dollars. The United States government has already saved these farmers multiple times during multiple droughts. They depend on winter moisture. And from May of last year till April of this year, none of that cold snow that sits on the mountaintops accumulated enough to save any of these farmers. So we are going to see higher prices, Christmas trees, almonds, peaches, lettuce, cabbage, strawberries. And some of these cattle farmers are killing their cattle for beef because there's no grass to feed them. We are in tough times all around folks. Jerome Powell came out and says he's going to stay the course and the economy's recovering. I'm not convinced that I see the economy recovering. Price is already skyrocketing. I love my almonds, but I love my vegetables and my fruit. So I'm really hoping that they stay moderate. Okay, some more news today. Robinhood was priced at $38. A lot of institutional investors stayed out of this one. They were not quite certain of the volatility that's going to place take place tomorrow with all these retail investors it is a wait and see but there are people out there at robin hood that just became very wealthy duolingo went public today it is up 36 percent giving it a valuation of about five billion a lot of people are getting very wealthy thanks to the fed's injection of all this money and people wanting to spend 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 well, in my day, I've seen a lot of stocks go public. I worked on the institutional sales desk for many years, and I have been around many IPOs, and many of those companies are no longer in existence. So many. And all these IPOs that are coming through this year, many of them won't be around in 10 years either. These valuations are so pumped up. It is absolutely ridiculous that people believe that a language app is worth $5 billion or that a stock trading app has a valuation of $9 billion. It might be really exciting for that 
tech app coder who has their own technological product that they're trying to get to the market. In the 1990s, we had the dot-com bubble. In the 2020s, we're going to have the app bubble. And it's all going to come crashing down. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just testing out my mic. It's really late. Thanks again. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. As always, I appreciate you. Call someone and tell them you love them. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.